to the channel for another vlog, another match day vlog. Newport County take on Crew Alexandra in League Two. Last week was very poor, wasn't it? Away at Barrow, 2 0 defeat. Um, Theo Vassell and Elliot Newby, the ones with the goals. Um, and we looked flat. We looked very flat. I thought defensively we looked like every time Barrow came forward they could have scored. Going forward we offered nothing. Um, I think Kyle Hudlin, as much as everyone wants him to succeed, I just don't think he's good enough. Uh, whilst Crew Alexandra won 3 0 last week. I can't remember who they beat. I know they won 3 0 at Harrogate Town. So, you know, they're coming off the back of a 3 0 win, but not just that. I think it's like four wins in a row for Crew now. You know, first few games of the season they look very shaky. Four wins in a row. Um, you know, it's a very good team and it's a very good manager. Lee Bell is 100th game in charge for Crew today. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. Mickey Dimitro, long throw ins. Um, you know, they've got threat all over the pitch, but it really is going to be a difficult one and it really is a tough one to call. In terms of a score prediction, I'm going to go 1 1. I'll take a draw. I would take a draw with the way we've been playing recently, but obviously I want to win. We'll get Luke's score predictions and the lineups in the next few moments. But if you do enjoy the vlog, like, share, subscribe, up the fucking county. Johnson, Crew, Alexander at home, the return again of Mickey Dimitrio. Uh, what do you make of this one? I said in my intro there, they've won four out of the last four. They're probably the most informed team in the league at the moment. How do you see today? Fair enough. There's always a hard game when we play Crew anyway, isn't it? You know, we've had a couple of decent games there and we've had good wins, obviously. Had some horrible losses against them too. The 4-2 last season, one at the start of last season. Yeah, and I think the way that we're playing, it's, it's hard to see a Newport win really, isn't it? But at home, well, we've had poor performances at home. And you know, away. And away. I'm hoping that the home crowds can get behind these boys today and really push them on to win. Because it's, it's a win that, that we need, probably probably for Jardin to keep his job, to be honest. Yeah, we like I said, we had three defeats in a row. Uh, Port Vale, Swindon, league-wise. I know, obviously, we won against West Ham, but league-wise, Port Vale, Swindon, Barrow. Is this a chance to put all the wrongs right this afternoon? 100%. I think a win today only papers out the cracks of how bad we've actually been. I think we win today, we've got to back it up with winning on Tuesday. Yeah. But... Score prediction? Oh, I can't predict us to lose, can I? But... I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to go 2-1 crew. 2-1 crew. Goal scorers? Yeah. I reckon... Uh, fuck it. Mickey Dimitri is going to score two. And uh, I'm going to go Kieran Evans for us. Up the county. Up the county. Oh, that's what we're saying. Nick Townsend, uh, Cameron Evans, Matt Baker, Carl Jameson, Anthony Glennon, Bryn Morris, Cameron Antwi, Aaron Wildig, uh, Courtney Baker-Richardson, Bobby Camwa, and uh, Evans. The bench. Uh, Jacob Carney, Ollie Greaves, Michael Spellman, Kyle Hudlin, That's good. Nelson Sanka, uh, Noah Mawane and Luke Jeffcott. I'd like to see Spellman on the bench, hopefully he gets some minutes. Ollie Greaves again, bench, so I would have maybe brought him into the fold, but look, you've got to back the manager. Let's get to Ronnie Parade and hopefully three points to end this uh, horrible run of form at the moment up the fucking county. It's always <laughs>
one through not half time. I really don't know why Crew haven't scored to be honest, but I think Crew have had like, so many good chances. We've just allowed them to get into it. Nelson Darling cheering up the fans, a little bit of passion. I tell you what, we need it there in the last few weeks, but the goal was absolutely true by Cameron Evans. What a goal that was to be fair, but you know, they have had chances through, and you know, if we allow them to get the ball in the final third more often, I think they will eventually score. But piece of first half, big second half to go as well. I would bring one for Spellman on. I think Spellman would influence the game quite decently, but big second half of the Kepi. And it's fucking oh, T-ball as well. You put one, crew one. Terrible. Just got in from the game, Newport 2, Crew Alexandra 1, great, great result. In terms of the performance, look, I'll just dissect the performance. I don't think the performance was, you know, 100% there. I thought, you know, there were frailties in the performance today, but although... I've just said that, I do look at the result and think, you know, the last three games have all been defeat, 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 where we've come out of the game thinking, you know, we played okay there and just got beat, where today we didn't play the best, I didn't think Crew played the best, despite they've got, you know, Lancaster, Tracy, Demetrio, um, you know, some very good players in their team on paper, I thought they were just poor today, even Cooney at right back, I thought he was very poor. And um, overall, it's one of those results where I feel, um, I don't know about other Newport County fans or football fans in general, where it's about getting the job done. It's about getting the three points. The performance wasn't amazing. There was parts of that game where we looked shaky, but we won. Um, you know, Courtney Baker Richardson should have scored um, when the, their keeper came rushing out. He tried to dink, dink it over him and try and wait for the ball to settle. He should have just hit that. I think it was um, easier to just hit it then than wait for the, um, the ball to fall nicely. Um, I thought Matt Baker, again, so many people criticised him at the start of the season. I thought he's played really well this season and got another goal today. Uh, Cameron Evans, what a finish that is as well. He just waits for it to um, fall onto his foot and just le or curls it, levers it, whatever you want to say, into that corner. Um, I thought Townsend was very good as well. Jameson, Wildig, there were some really good standout performances, but there was also the performances of Bobby Camber. I think Bobby Camber is one that needs to, when he's in the final third, just basically just calm down because when he's you know running up defenders he's got all things in his mind do I cross do I shoot do I, do I take him on and I think that sort of you know messes his decision making up but overall I'm happy with the result a 2-1 win at Rodney Parade after three defeats in a row make sure to smash a like on the video subscribe if you are new and turn the notifications on so you'd never miss a video and um yeah what a three points that is move on to Tuesday where we take on Salford up the county. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Up the up the county.